Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my final thoughts and overall game week preview for game week 35. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes. Leave a comment. What is your game week 35 team looking like as of right now? Subscribe if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, game week 34 finished last night with a 1-1 draw between United and Chelsea. Alonso fetching me a another nine points so just adding to an already pretty good game week for myself finished on 88 points in the end so very very happy with that um and yeah Alonso just a probably my best transfer all season to be fair from Doherty to Alonso just it was either between Alonso or Reese James uh because I had the money to to buy either of them um or Rudiger but obviously Rudiger was injured um but I just went with Alonso and I don't know why but I was very very happy I did because uh yeah 19 points could not really have gone better. Um, I mean, obviously, if he got a clean sheet as well last night, it would have been incredible, but it is what it is. Either way, though, let's move on to how my team is shaping up for game week 35. So in goal, I have Schmeichel away at Tottenham. Still undecided whether I'm going to play Ben Foster instead. Um, either or, like, it doesn't matter because if I play Foster, I've got Weghorst um, playing against him. And if I play Schmeichel, I'm going to have my captain playing against him. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to have a, an attacking player playing against my goalkeeper either way. So I either play Schmeichel, who's going to be ha in a very, very heavily rotated Leicester team, uh, who's going to have a lot of shots being faced at him. So it might make a few saves. Um, or go Foster, who's at home to Burnley. But again, Burnley need to win that game. So I feel like they'll come out all guns blazing. So I think keepers, both keepers are going to concede. It's just who's going to make more saves. And I think Schmeichel might. So I'm probably going to go with Schmeichel. But again, have not made that decision yet. At the back, got Robertson, Trent, Laporte and Alonso. Uh, midfield, Madison, Salah, Sun, Captain. I've gone with Sun, Captain over Salah. It's not because of like the early kickoff or anything like that. It's just because Salah played 90 in the Champions League. So I think he's not that he's going to get rested, but I feel like if they go one or two nil up, he's probably going to come off. Um, and I kind of want my captain to play the full 90. So I'm going with Sun this week. He's going against a, a heavily, as I just said, a heavily rotated Leicester squad. Um, they're at home. They have to win this game. Um, and I think that Sun can easily get in behind and hopefully score a couple of goals. Let's hope he gets another hat trick like he did earlier on in the season. But either way, I think Sun and Kane are really, really good captaincy choices this week. So if you are a little bit unsure on who to go with, like obviously you have your Chelsea boys as well, like against Everton away. If you're bringing in Coutinho, you have um, obviously Norwich at home. Um, and then, of course, you've got Salah away at Newcastle. You've got Son and Kane at home to Le uh, Leicester. So there's a lot of good options this week. And I think it will be a little bit of a different week not everyone just kind of on the same captain um but yeah i'm pretty made up on um son at home to leicester as my captain um saka was seen in training pictures so if you do own saka i wouldn't fear too much he should be back um and then i've also got black horse up from as well and then at the back i've got well on, on my bench i've got foster white broya and saint maximan and i've got 0 0.7 mil in the bank so let's go on to my transfer planner this week so one free transfer 0 0.7 mil in the bank uh, I'm pretty much already made up on what my transfer is going to be. If, if you saw my team selection on Wednesday, I was very unsure on what to do, whether to take out White or um, take out, say, Maximan or bring in, like, De Bruyne or something like that. Let me just get my fixtures up real quick. So these are the fixtures. Um, as you can see, Broya does play Liverpool in game week 37 now. It was a blank for, like, Broya and Liverpool, for Southampton and Liverpool, but that's all been sorted now. So there's no blanks coming up. So happy days there at... It, it, I don't like seeing the blanks and stuff just because it just makes it more annoying to kind of sort your team out. But um, yeah, it also shows that like the, the season's nearly over as well with this black box on the end for everyone. It's uh, it's nearly nearly another year of FPL done. But anyway, transfers. Uh, what I think I'm going to just do this week is get rid of St. Maximan uh, and bring in Watkins. I think it is uh, an arguably easy transfer to make, to be fair. You know, he's got Norwich at home and then back-to-back -back fixtures. He should play 90 in all of them. Um, he is on penalties when Ings isn't on the pitch, so... I'm pretty confident that Watkins will be my transfer this week. I do have just enough to bring him in, 0 0.1. Um, another option I could do is instead of bringing in Watkins is get rid of Madison for St. Maximan. Um, but I really want Madison for this Everton-Norwich game as long as he plays both. And then also has another double there as well. So I already have Ramsey and I don't really want to triple up on Villa either because after these fixtures, they've got City at the end of the season. Um, and I don't really want three um, Villa players playing City at the end of the season. It's just not something that I want to be dealing with. I'm not going to be getting rid of Son. Um, I was obviously thinking about getting rid of him for De Bruyne, but 
you know, he's got Leicester at home this week, and then he's he's got arguably a very difficult double, but, you know, anything could happen in that London derby. Both teams need to win the game. And then he has Burnley, and then he has Norwich away on the last game of the season, which is incredible. Like, part of me wants to try and work my team around so I can get Kane for Norwich as well on the last day of the season. Um, maybe downgrade someone like Robertson to... Uh, uh, like a four point mil center back and then um bringing kane for like watkins or something I i'm not 100 percent like decided on that it's just i kind of want double spurs for norwich away on the last game of the season i think it's definitely gonna help if i do that so i think that's going to be something i do in the long run but this is going to be my transfer this week for uh st maximan to watkins um but yeah i mean there's not really a lot to talk about this week in terms of like decisions and stuff on what to do like, obviously people own reese james but after the game last night i wouldn't even think about selling him like i don't know how he didn't come away with that uh any returns in that chelsea game last night honestly he's just such an incredible player it's ridiculous <laughs> honestly watching him is insane gareth southgate's gonna have some trouble on his hands deciding who to pick i mean i think it just gets to the point where you have to play one of them in like right mid and then one of them at right uh, wing back or something like that i don't even know but yeah if you do have reese james i wouldn't get rid of him especially before everton away like yeah they are going to be rotations and stuff but i don't think it's worth getting rid of him um the likes of city players as well this week i don't think you should really pick apart your team too much this week to bring them in leads away is obviously a really nice fixture but again they could also be heavily rotated um leads away is a fixture that pep knows he'll easily win you know whether he says it or not he will easily beat leads away um well i mean he should on paper anyway so i i think getting your, your city players in for the week after is probably something more beneficial uh, and again if you're thinking about getting rid of Son or Kane this week I, I definitely wouldn't I know they've had two blanks in a row and I know they haven't had a shot on target in the last two game weeks but Leicester at home going to be heavily rotated I definitely advise against selling any Spurs players uh, this week I just think this fixture is too good to miss out on and like I say a lot of people are going to be captaining Kane and Son this week Kane's record against Leicester is like five games five goals and two assists or something like that um, and only one blank so i mean the numbers are there for kane and, and sun can easily run in behind as well so anything can happen there um in regards to what else is there? there's not really too much more to talk about really like with your leicester players like yeah madison is probably going to get rotated this week but at the same time like tottenham away isn't really a fixture you'd be too bothered about you'd much rather him play the everton norwich game because that's captaincy worthy in, in game week 36 100 i know salah's right there and he's going to be my captain um, but I mean, Everton at home and Norwich at home is just such a good double for um, for Leicester. So yeah, hopefully going to get a couple clean sheets in that for Schmeichel. Um, but yeah, captaincy we've already really spoke about. Um, not really too much to put. Like I say, game week 36 is the big one. Like game week 35 is just kind of like the stepping stone to the big double that's going to be happening. Um, wouldn't advise you to play any free hits this week. If you have your wild card still, I would play that. Um probably this week just to kind of sort yourself out for game week 36 and 36 like we only got up to game week 38 and then you won't be able to play your wild card anymore so play it now if you already if, if you have it play it now bench boost obviously 36 um is probably the best time to do it like my team is kind of shaping up good for a bench boost but i've already used it unfortunately um but i was happy with my bench boost because it's when like saka and lacazette both popped off i got like 21 points my bench boost so i'm not like regretting that at all um but yeah, in, 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 in apart from that, like there's not really too much else to talk about. I think going big at the back for the remainder of the, the game weeks is probably the, the good way as well. Villa players that you should target, I think uh, Watkins, Coutinho and Cash are probably the best three. Um, Cash for the clean sheet potential and how much he gets forward. Coutinho, his home form has been ridiculous. Like I think he averages like nine points a home game. Um, they're all at home as well. So definitely advise bringing in Coutinho if you, if you do want to get rid of Madison this week. I could potentially get rid of Madison as well, but I don't think it's worth it for me personally. I kind of want to keep Madison for the doubles and stuff. Um, and then Watkins as well, like I say, is on pens when he's in playing. He should play 90 all the time. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything for the final thoughts and just the overall game we preview. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment with your thoughts on your team and everything like that. Any transfers you think they're making. Subscribe if you're brand new. It's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.